Across the country, businesses and restaurants have shut their doors and boarded up their windows. But in the heart of Minneapolis, restaurant owner Tommy Beavis of Pimento Kitchen is taking action and giving back directly to protesters and the local community. We are open and we are here for the community. We're not boarding up. We're here as one community. I'm Tommy Beavis with Pimento Jamaican Kitchen. Pimento has always been that safe space for the community. As a business owner, I recognize how hard we work to build our empires. And it is hard to see how in the blink of an eye it can be gone, whether it's through protests or whether it's through COVID. At the end of the day, what makes a business is its people. It's about people's lives. It's ensuring that we don't have to be doing, say his name, Tommy Beavis in the future. The businesses can rebuild, but we can never rebuild a life. And there's no way I could choose to put Pimento's property over Pimento's people. Over the past few days, the Pimento kitchen staff and a team of volunteers have worked to turn the restaurant into a donation site where individuals can both pick up and drop off essential supplies. The donations coming straight into Pimento. There we go. Pimento since May 28th has basically been reborn. We're calling it Pimento Relief Services. For those who are on the ground, we've been providing them on the front line with essential needs. So first aid kits is important, ensuring that they stay safe out there. We've been providing goggles, we've providing masks, we're providing gloves, we're providing eye washing equipment. So essentially it's about providing them what they need to exercise their First Amendment right in a peaceful manner. When we decided to step out into leadership and put Pimento out there, we knew that we could easily be targeted by those who don't want to see our community coming together. Those who don't like the narrative of a black owned business is actually helping to uplift its community and protecting its neighbors. Pimento is staying open, right? Yeah. That's right. Pimento's resources made it a possible target for looters. But just as Pimento Kitchen stepped up for its community, the community in turn came out to protect the restaurant. To no surprise, we have been providing information that um, white supremacists, white separatists um, wanted to target Pimento. Our first day when we were told about these threats, we had seven volunteers who stepped up that they were going to protect the space overnight uh, because of course, with all the supplies that we had in here, it was the perfect target. Thankfully, the community has made sure that the show of force has deterred any potential targeting. We had 250 plus volunteers who showed up to help Pimento. On our block, almost every business has been boarded up, but Pimento refuses to board up because we are not afraid of our community, because we are our community. Remember what this is for. This is for honoring the fallen and protecting the walking. If we can't get it right now, we will be having this conversation again. My hope for Pimento and for Minneapolis, I'm very optimistic. It has started here, and I can tell you that we are going to fix it here in Minneapolis. During times of revolution, there are so many different directions that one may choose to go, but at the end of the day, it is about the end result, which is not just about justice for today, but justice in the future through litigation and through, of course, legislation.